Chapter 7.4, Solving Proportions. While there is no new vocabulary in this chapter, I do want to remind you of the different ways that we have talked about so far in this chapter of solving proportions. So we have talked about finding a unit rate, which remember is a proportion um, such as 60 miles, miles, not meters, miles per one hour. A unit rate always has that denominator of one. We can also find equivalent ratios. Equivalent ratios. It's hard to spell and talk at the same time sometimes. I could find equivalent ratios such as two-fourths and one-half. Two-fourths and one-half are equivalent. I could also solve proportions by using the cross products method. Okay, so uh, we will be using multiple two or three of these in each example so that you can see the different ways that we can use these three options to solve various problems. You can pick the way that works best for you unless specifically asks in the directions to use a specific formula, like finding the, the unit rate, or using equivalent fractions, or using cross products. For the most part, you can pick your method. So let's get into example one. A hybrid car can travel 260 miles using five gallons of gas. So 260 miles on five five gallons of gas. How many miles can the car travel using eight gallons of gas? So I'm going to set up my proportion. I know the car can go 260 miles on five gallons of gas. I want to know how far can my car go On eight gallons of gas. So notice the miles which are both in pink are in the numerator. The gallons of gas are both in the denominator. You need to make sure that you set up your ratios the same way. Numerator to denominator, same numerator, same denominator. And I'm talking about units not the actual number. So method one is I can use a unit rate. Okay, here's option one. So the unit rate, 260 divided by five is equal to 52 over one. So that tells me I can get 52 miles per gallon or MPG. But I wanna know how far I can go on eight gallons. So 52 times eight equals 416. So x is 416 miles in eight gallons, okay? Option two is I can use cross products. So 260 over five equals x over eight. So I'm going to cross, prod, cross multiply 5x, 5 times x, equals 260 times 8. I'm going to cheat here for a minute, use the calculator, 260 times 8. You're going to work it out by hand, equals 2,080. Divide both by 5 to get x by itself, and x equals... 416. So here I solved this problem using two different ways, the unit rate and using cross products, which I didn't label. Either method works, we get the same answer. So pick the one that works best for you. All right, let's go into example two. Solve four over nine 
equals four sixths. So I'm gonna start by rewriting my problem. Oh, just kidding. X over nine equals four over six. Four over six. Well, I'm gonna start by finding equivalent fractions. I know that four sixths is also equal to two thirds. So I know that because x over nine equals four sixths and four sixths equals two thirds, that x over nine equals two over three. Well, I know that three times three equals nine. So two times three must equal six. So x must equal six. Now that you can probably do mentally. Hey, four sixths is two thirds. Three times three is nine. So two times three is six. X equals six. But I still want you to set up and show me what you're using as equivalent fractions. The other option for this one is I can use cross products. X over nine equals four over six. Since I don't have any units here, I can't really use a unit rate, but I can use cross products. So six X equals 36. Divide both sides by six. X equals six. Now, while you do not necessarily need to show your computation, you do need to show your steps. How did you get from your problem to your answer? Okay, this is the part that I want to see. Show your steps. All right, last one, example three. A student buys six drawing pencils for $3.90. Which proportion can you use to find C, the cost of 10 pencils? So remember back in problem one, where we had the same unit on top. In that case, it was miles over the same unit in the denominator, which was gallons. You need to make sure that your proportions are set up here. So we have drawing pencils and cost number of drawing pencils, but we don't know the cost. So to make this a little easier to see, I'm gonna highlight it. Drawing pencils, number of drawing pencils, cost, and C, cost. That's what I don't know. So I'm going to set this up. I see six over $3.90. Six pencils for $3.90 equals C over 10. Well, six pencils and 10 pencils, those are both the same. Those should both be in the numerator. So my answer is not A. Here we have cost of 10 pencils over $3.90 equals six pencils over 10 pencils. But that's not correct either because we have to have two different units in our fraction. So it's not B either. So here we have six pencils over $3.90, number of pencils over cost, equals 10 pencils over C, cost. Okay, so so far this one looks correct, but let's just double check D. 10 over $3.90 equals 10 over C, but where is that six drawing pencils? It's not C, so, or D, so C, is my correct fraction here. Okay, remembering to keep those same unit in the numerator and the same unit in the denominator will help. Okay, that's it for 7.4. Complete your QCs and CYUs, and if you have any questions, I will go over them the next time I see you.